The Mannheim to Frankfurt railway line is one of the busiest in Germany, with more than 100,000 load tons being transported per day. The experts from DB Nets are faced with an unusual rail defect here. Some time ago, a long-distance train picked up a foreign object at a level crossing and transferred it to the rail every 2.8 metres. The damage extends all the way to Frankfurt, and we have to remove it before any consequential damage occurs. Measurements have shown that the damage is up to 0.4 millimetres deep. DBNets's rules and regulations state that they must be removed within 12 months. In principle, milling is the preferred method for removing indentations. But because of the dense rail traffic and the length of the damage over 100 kilometers, we've opted for grinding instead. This is an ideal job for Foslo's HSG2 grinding train and a special task for shift supervisor Ronnie Voik and his team. Normally, we have three passes and remove 0.1 millimeters. In this project, we're making 18 passes and removing 0.4 millimeters to eliminate the defects. In preventive use, material removed by the HSG2 is normally concentrated on a specific area of the cross-sectional profile. In this corrective operation, however, the train machines a much larger area of the cross-sectional profile. But why use grinding instead of milling? While the use of a milling machine would require long track possessions, the HSG2 slots into nighttime train operations. This reduces the planning effort, and the track remains free for normal rail traffic in between the individual passes of the HSG. After three passes in each direction, measurements are taken at various points during the day to document the change in the rail surface. After six nights and 18 passes, the moment of truth arrives. Has the Foslo team eliminated the defects? Our impression so far is very good. The measurements show that 0.4 millimeters of material have been removed, we've chosen the right procedure and safely eliminated the indentations. The extensive final measurements yielded very good results for the surface roughness of the rails, which are now back in top shape on the Mannheim to Frankfurt line and will be available for safe and economical operation for many years to come.